Welcome back to Franchise TV. On this YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. Today I actually have a mystery box from a company I've purchased from before, I think like two times. This is from the company called Comic Vantage. Let me tell you a little bit about this box. This is the one and only Comic Vantage Mystery Mailer Box Season 11. So what this company does is they do seasons. So like July 2020, that was season 11. Season 12 will be August 1st until they sell out. Then season 13, September 1st. And last time, the season 11 boxes, they sold out the first day. Back when they used to sell them on eBay, just on eBay, they used to sit sometimes for like two, three weeks before they sold out. They recently started up their own website called like what, comicvantage.com. And now they sell out the first day. So this is a $40 mystery box. I've seen good things, I've seen bad things. The first two boxes I opened up, it was fair. I got more back in value than what I paid, or at least I, I broke even, so I'm happy with that. So it says, each box will contain five comic books. Each box purchased will count as one entry into the grand prize drawing. I don't know when the grand prize drawing is, I wonder if I won. It says, be sure to flip through the pictures to see all the amazing books you have a chance to get. Each box is a chance at keys, grails, ratios, exclusive, signed books, even sketches and remarks. Season 11 will run from July 1st to July 31st, a.k.a. they sold out the first day. And grand prize drawing held in July and winner will get a CGC 9.0 Panini Edition Wolverine triple signed by Len Wein, Jimmy Palamati, and Joe Rubenstein. I probably butchered those names. Featuring a Dell Auto cover that was never released in the U.S. And I don't... Oh, here's pictures. So some of the main hits you can get. There's that, of course, a Wolverine. You've got a Walking Dead... Kind of like a few like variant covers. Looks like a star with a sketch and remark. Then you have a whole stack of Spider-Man 2899s. Whole stack of them. I got a few of those already. Then you've got some Batman Who Laughs, some uh, Dark, My Dark Knight's Metal. Quite a bit Batman stuff. So 40 bucks for this box. It doesn't say anything about guaranteed value. So I'm going into this already knowing there's no like absolute guaranteed value. So... You spend 40 bucks, you might not get back $40 in value. I don't know. But from uh, my previous two boxes, the value was fair in my personal opinion. And seeing other people on YouTube open up some boxes, I thought the value was fair for them also. So I don't mind you know, going in a mystery, not even knowing guaranteed value if, if there is any. At least whenever I see reviews, other people, you know, the reviews are pretty good. Okay, so we got to get off. They have this painter's tape on here. Take those out. So the back, you have a Comic Vantage sticker. I know I have so many stickers from <laughs> hundreds of companies over the years. So let me go ahead and take this green tape off of all these books to start with. Sometimes companies will do this just to help hold them together. You don't really need to use tape. You can actually just put one ring a bubble wrap around all these and it will hold all the books in place and that bubble wrap will offer a little bit of protection just to not have it on too tight so it doesn't compress like the bindings of the book okay so this one this first one this one's upside down that must be like the main hit right here on top i'm guessing so we'll go from the back forward hopefully the big hits like the one that's upside down hopefully fingers crossed first one is it cool? Is it awesome? We have, oh, oh, that's a cool one. The Batman Who Laughs, number one. This is probably going to be the best hit in the box. The, <laughs> the first one I pulled out. This is the Dell Auto Variant 1500 print run. Only 1500. This was actually one of the pictured comics, too. They had like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pictures. And this is actually, this was one of the pictured comics. So that's actually pretty cool. I got one of the picture comics. This says it's worth about $30. It's kind of nice. The top they always have says up there, only made 1500 of this comic Dell Auto variant. About 30 bucks in value. Super cool cover. I will be keeping this one. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Batman Who Laughs. I think it's a great new um, Batman 
envisioned and I do enjoy the character and I have kept at least one copy of every every Batman who laughs cover that I have received in mystery boxes and uh, I finally broke down a few months back I actually did I did buy the first appearance what was it Teen Titans I think number 12 I think it was but I bought the first appearance of Batman who laughs a nine a CGC 9.8 for under the going rate, so I was pretty happy with that to actually get the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs in a comic book. Next one, book number two. Oh, that's a cool one. I think I should have gone from the front back. I think the back ones were the better hits of this box. This is the Perillo variant, says worth about 10 bucks. The Punisher number one, super cool cover. And once again, I'm a huge fan of, of the Punisher. I know back when I was a kid, back in the. Uh, 80s going to the 90s I read quite a bit of the Punisher in the comic books always enjoyed the character and wasn't the first Punisher in the movies wasn't it Dolph Lundgren played the Punisher pretty sure it, what was it Dolph I, I, I could be off on that but I've always enjoyed the movies the the newest TV show that was on Netflix uh what's the actor's name that plays Punisher I'm gonna draw I'm gonna draw a blank um, but you know, Shane from the walking dead, that character played the Punisher in the Netflix series. Fantastic. Actually, I heard they're actually going to bring that series back on Disney plus I heard. So hopefully they do. Hopefully we have not seen the end of the Punisher for this series. Cause it, it was a fantastic Netflix series. I really enjoyed it. Next comic. We got once and future boom studios. Number two. So yeah, my back two comics, I think those were the two big hits of the box. <laughs> Went the wrong way in this box. But I'm actually, once again, I'm a huge fan of Boom Studios. I really like Boom Studios. I like, I like what they're doing. Like I like what Image is doing, what Boom is doing, what Aftershock is doing. There's a lot of the smaller comic book companies who are doing fantastic things right now. They're making a lot of very, very good books. Uh, quite a few of the ones I've, I've read recently, like Red Mother. Check that one out. The Year Zero comic. Uh, one of them just started up a new one called Dead Day. Only had one issue out so far. It was it was it was a fun read. So yeah, Once and Future by Boom Studios. Number don't slide. Number four. We have the Magic Order. This is from Image issue number five. I have not heard of this one. The Magic Order. This one I am not familiar with, but it actually it might be a home run kind kind of a comic. I do like the artwork on it. It was made by Mark Mil Millar and Olivier Coapel. Co I probably butchered that. Absolutely butchered it. But yeah, Image Comics. They're doing fantastic things. I really enjoy what they're doing. I like a lot of their comics. And here, the last one, number five. Never seen this one either. Show you that one first. So we have the Rocket Girl from Image Comics. Once again, this is number nine, Rocket Girl. Uh, made by Brandon Montclair and Amy Reader. So I have not heard of Rocket Girl. I don't know how old this comic is. I don't know how far that the print run went. If number nine was near the end of it, or there's actually more of the beginning of the run, I don't know. I mean, the my knowledge of comics is pretty much like this much. It's just enough to get me by. The kind of not sound like I'm an idiot. I know just enough. That is the forty dollar comic vantage mystery box. All in all, value of this probably these these three that you saw the the last three or really the first three in the box. I should have done. Probably just common comics worth like what two three bucks a piece. Then you got this Punisher variant, a Perillo cover. They say it's worth ten. This Batman Who Laughs, fifteen hundred print run comic worth thirty. You can even probably say twenty five, twenty twenty five, five ten bucks. Even conservatively, probably say here's probably you know thirty to thirty five dollars. And you throw in these a couple bucks a piece. So there's probably around forty dollars in value here. So this wasn't like a top hit box or anything, but in terms of value, I got my money back. I actually got two comics that I'm going to keep. So that's not a bad deal. So that is Comic Vantage, season number 11. 
season 12 is going to be on sale August 1st. By the time I actually publish this video, it might already be sold out. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. On this YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. <laughs>